Whitefish Bay was incorporated in 1892 when residents, and there were only 300 at the time, wanted to form a school district. The location of the original Whitefish Bay School is now Schoolhouse Park across the street from the library. CBS 58 Morning anchor Mike Kirkhoff joins us live from the Bay Restaurant. Hi, Mike. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun here in Whitefish Bay following your suggestions. Every place that you've that we've gone so far today, you at home have suggested. We went to Winkies Toys. Everyone said we have to go to the basement of Winkies, and we sure did. It was a great time. We also checked out the Jewish Community Center. We went down to Clody Park, hung out outside uh, Whitefish Bay High School. Now we're downtown Whitefish Bay at the Bay Restaurant. Let's go on in and talk. Oh, hey, Jason, how you doing? Let's go on in here and talk to James. James is the owner of the Bay Restaurant. beard here. Uh, James, what is Bay Restaurant? Where people can come in after a game, uh, any events, anything like that, and just catch up with old friends or have a drink and hang out if they want to. Maybe finish up some work, <laughs> work remotely. Yeah. As we were talking, it's kind of got like that, that it's a small, like a small town restaurant kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the community of Whitefish Bay again. You're usually going to see people on the street that you know, and you just kind of wave them in and, you know, <laughs> catch up really quickly, and it just has that hometown feel. Um, I'm sure everyone asks about the beard. Yeah. What's, uh, what's that about? They do. So <laughs> about 10 years ago, I started competing at the national level. I saw a reality TV show called Whisker Wars, and next thing you know, all of a sudden, I was at these competitions and growing facial hair. So look at that. Competitive facial hair, great hometown community. You got it all here in Whitefish Bay. On Tuesday, we were in St. Francis for a CBS 58 hometown stop. Today, we've moved up the lakefront to the village of Whitefish Bay. Good morning, anchor Mike Kirkov is at the Great Frame Up with more. Yeah, welcome back out to Whitefish Bay. You know, when we posted that we were going to Whitefish Bay for today's hometown, we had so many great suggestions. We've been to a lot of them so far at the Jewish Community Center, at Winkies, at the Bay Restaurant. And another one that a lot of people said we needed to go to was the Great Frame Up. Tom Harris is the owner of the Hello. Great Frame Up. Hello, Tom. Hi, how are you doing today? Very good, thank good. you. So. Why did so many people uh, say we had to come to the Great Frame Up? That's, I thought that's a franchise, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you know, we're individually owned. We are part of a franchise, but I've been doing this for about 30 years. So uh, we're one of the older businesses besides a few. There's probably five that are older than that. But uh, we've been on Silver Spring for a long time. I grew up in Whitefish Bay. I've been part of the Civic Foundation. I, uh, we've done a lot of school art shows for grade schools, for high schools, so we really like to be involved with the community. Yeah, you really are a big part of the community. I think Tom Harris was one of the reasons yeah. <laughs> that we had to come to the Great Frame Up. So what do you do here? You, you do commercial framing, but you do a lot. Yeah, well, we, we do it residentially, but we also do it commercially. Uh, we've, we uh, focus on archival framing for most mm -hmm. of the parts so that we could take care of almost anything from your expensive art down to a $20 poster. Doesn't make a difference. We can frame it all. Uh, but we, we really focus on the archival side of it to protect your, your heirlooms so that you have them forever. And then on the other side of the building? Uh, this is Gallery 505, and we represent about 60 artists from all over the world. So we've got them from London, from Spain, from uh, New York, uh, Arizona, Colorado, you name it. That's a we, we like colors. We like <laughs> textures. We like fun. And that's really what has always brought me into the art world. Uh, was just the the creativity that these artists bring to the ball game. It's a pretty cool spot to have here in downtown Whitefish Bay. It's been awesome. You know, we moved into this location about 15 years ago. I've been on two other locations on the street. I've always really, really enjoyed being in Whitefish Bay. Uh, it has been a great place to raise my family, to uh, to uh, meet a lot of my friends, and and also customers yeah. and clients. Well, Tom, this is a great place. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, well, thank you. We appreciate you guys coming in. Back to you guys. All right. Today's CBS 58 Hometowns takes us to Whitefish Bay. And I wanted to start here in front of Whitefish Bay High School, just because I think it's one of the coolest looking schools in all of Wisconsin. It looks like Hogwarts or something. Education played such an important role in both the history of Whitefish Bay, and it still does today. So let's see what we got up to today in Whitefish Bay. We'll 
I'm Julie Lukacs, and I'm the marketing director at the Harry and Rose Samson Family Jewish Community Center. Have you ever seen a frog jump it over a we are really proud of our Aganami Early Childhood Education Program. We have state-of-the-art fitness and aquatics facility. We have special needs programs. We are actually running a day program with Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin right now. We have a very diverse community that we serve here at the JCC. Um, and while our programs are grounded in Jewish values, they are open for everyone. Michael Stuhlmacher, third generation family owner at Winkies. Neighborhood store, family store, toy store, it's changed a lot. There's a lot of different, you know, competition out there with the internet and different big box stores, but we seem to just stick to doing what we do best. My name is James McMahon. I'm the owner of the Bay Restaurant in Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. I feel that over the course of the last nine years, this is one of those go-to places like after a game or high school event or something like that, that they'll, they'll come to our establishment. Well, Whitefish Bay just has that hometown community feel. Uh, if you're walking the streets, you're gonna feel at home. People are gonna make you feel at home. And uh, you know, you can wave to people on the street and you're probably gonna know them. Hey, Tom Harris, how you doing? Whitefish Bay has some great lakefront parks like Clody Park and Big Bay, and some jaw-dropping homes to gawk at, and this nice little downtown. You could spend a day in Whitefish Bay. I just may. What do you say? Okay, here's some more news coming your way.